Arnold's key to gift. Linda Hamilton, uncredited awesomeness. Terminator, one had to be shot in mono. Billy Idol was James Cameron's first choice to play the T-1000. T-2 took so long to film that Edward Furling visibly aged. Production took so long on T-2 1991 that Edward Furlong visibly aged during the shoot. He is clearly much younger in the desert, for example, than in other scenes. The actor's voice began to break and had to be pitched to one level in post-production. Not quite the same ring to it. Terminator 1 goes underappreciated by the Academy. The Terminator breaks AFI records. Terminator 3 was also the most expensive of its kind. Kyle Reese and John Connor only appear together in one movie. Cameron consistently makes the most expensive movies of all time. The CGI in T2 was a big deal back then. The T-1000 used to be two Terminators. Cameron's original idea for Tone was to have two Terminators go back in time, one solid and humanoid the other liquid-based. Realizing the technology wasn't ready at the time, he quickly ditched this idea. Stan Winston's visual effects punctuated the franchise. Time and budgets were simpler then. James Cameron and Arnold Schwarzenegger, guerrilla filmmakers. The scene in tone, where the Terminator breaks into a station wagon was the very last thing shot, and it was added to the film a few weeks before the film's release. The scene was filmed in two hours by director James Cameron and Arnold Schwarzenegger alone. Due to insufficient funds, Cameron had to pay for the scene himself. However, he could not afford a police permit, so he kept another set of Arnold's clothes was behind the wagon trunk. The moment the scene was finished, Cameron had Schwarzenegger change clothes. Sneaky foreshadowing in the Terminator. In the beginning of the, the first movie, the Terminator drives over a toy semi-truck. Towards the end of the movie, Terminator is run over by the same model of semi. Casting Swap The biker bar scene and the Rodney King beating. Arnold Schwarzenegger's training was intense. Arnold Schwarzenegger worked with guns every day for a month to prepare for the role. The first two weeks of filming, he practiced weapons stripping and reassembling while blindfolded until the motions were automatic, like he was a machine. He spent hours at the shooting range, practicing with different weapons, without blinking or looking at them when reloading or cocking. He also had to be ambidextrous. Schwarzenegger practiced different moves up to 50 times. Arnold and James Cameron's friendship kept new Terminators from coming out. This gas station should look familiar. Schwarzenegger walked up to his former weight 43. There was a scene too dangerous to shoot. 
but Cameron did it anyway. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below and also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.